All right, August 18th, 2021, from Justin to Coey. No Justin today. Mike is with us. Mike, thanks for sticking with us here. Oh, Jesus, with us here. <laughs> it's an honor. Thank uh, you for having me. I'm so nervous for being next to you here. <laughs> this is unreal. So we started off the show. Uh, I just busted it out there. I don't know proper protocol on this stuff, but Justin was not with us today. Uh, I, I think his. I think some of his struggles have been documented on the show in the past, right? Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. He's, he's gone through a lot of the, Like I said, he, he right before the Super Bowl, uh, he went through something yep. where he went away for a week or so. Like he has a, so I don't know if it's the events that he struggles with. Yep. But there has been like right before that, uh, he'll go through something, and then his ability to bounce back, yeah, <laughs> has always amazed me. Which may is maybe not a good thing. Maybe he should take more time to himself yep. to get yep. himself right. Yep. Uh, but I, you know, there is a chance he's there on Saturday. I hope, uh, I hope events are kind of a good thing for him. Cause I would think the people who are traveling, right. The majority of people are traveling to Maine to see this. Like Justin is a fan favorite of there. So I hope that oh, sure. turns into a good thing for that. I hope it's not stressed from the event. I said it on this show. I started and the first thing basically that happened was they booked the Sacco date and he had everything taken care of. Yeah. So I know we we're going to talk in two seconds about a clip that we played on the show and he was called out a little bit on it. He took literally everything top to bottom. We're talking food, venue, everything. So he did an amazing job. So I hope, uh, you know, if he's ready to go or if it's OK, if it's something predictable, he says he'll be in on Friday. But I hope he's in on Friday and hope he's there Saturday as long as, you know, obviously he's comfortable doing so. Yeah. And as much as like we were talking about like YouTube comments or whatever, that yeah. might play a part in it. Yeah. But also he was on a ton of medication before I met him. Yes. You know what I mean? Yep. And I can't imagine like. He and I take one of the same medications, and yep. that's the only one I take, yeah. whereas he's on like nine more. So I can only imagine the type of shit that he is dealing with. Yeah. That I can't, You know what I mean? I think yeah. it goes beyond, obviously. His response to me this morning seems like he kind of knows what he's going through right now. That was his. He, you he's know, very he, casual about he's it. He's very casual. <laughs> yeah. He just said, I, you know, I need a day to figure this out type of thing. So I think he knows what's going on. So uh, hopefully we will see him back in here on Friday if he's ready to do so. And uh, obviously we're thinking of Justin right now. Uh, so we'll, we'll kind of segue into the first thing that we played, which I didn't think Kirk was going to go there right out the gate, was the Madawaska Rob audio. Which we'll call it a fucking uh, dunk tank. You're going to do a mechanical bull. You're going to do like yeah. a fucking uh, picture thing. And at the same time, like, why isn't the fucking, why isn't the show doing this? Like, why isn't, why would Justin? Well, hold on, hold on. <laughs> because, because that's not my job, you fucking shithead. You know, I tried to play devil's advocate in that situation. Rob was basically just saying, you know, he was the, what was it, minister of fun? Is that what we were calling uh, him? Director of director fun? Director of fun or yeah. something. And we've just built this community. Kirk has built this community uh, of fans that, you know, I just believe when they do get together, they want to make it an event. They want to do something. And I think Rob spearheads a lot of that stuff because he's one of the most liked Minna fans in kind of that Kirk Minahan show world. And so he just had some audio last night on a show he was on on YouTube or Twitter and basically just said, you know, it's crazy. I was about to spend a thousand dollars. What was I thinking? That's yeah. something the show should be thinking of when really Kirk's take was no, nobody should probably be thinking of that. So I can't like I've been to a 10 million comedy shows and festivals and all that shit. And uh, that alone is not a place where you have like I've never seen pre shows with bounce houses and dunk no, things. I don't think you can but compare also, it to like just a live podcast show. You have well, to compare it more to like. Uh, so what I was like, what yeah. I was going to say was. Yeah. I was a uh, listener of Kirk a long time before I was on the show. I can't picture a scenario where I would think to myself, well, I'm going to this event. Certainly there will be a bounce house there, right? No, no but you know, the, the bounce house is a little, uh, we don't have to be as specific about the bouncy house. He's making a joke out of it. And those are like yeah. rentals that you get for a party that are attainable and stuff like that. I think they're just thinking like when they, when there is a Kirk Minahan show event, and especially an event that allows for tailgating of some sport, some sort where they could be drinking for three hours before the event even gets started yeah. activities in their mind, if they're all going to get together should be taking place. So I think his, his, mind and everything was in the right place it was just kind of the way he ended up vocalizing sure it later. Yeah. i mean he's a nice yeah. guy like i yeah. said i don't know what he's dealing with per so i'm yeah i'm sure he means well I, I don't know if he felt like he had to say something interesting on the podcast also yeah. like i think if you asked him he seems like the kind of guy that would be like yeah i probably shouldn't have said that i didn't mean it. Well, i don't know yeah. what i was thinking no i just so. wanted to point out that like this fan base when you do an event like that the majority of them 
are actually going to the event together. Like they live near each other somewhere in Massachusetts and they're driving. They're using this like as an excuse of, oh, my digital or social relationship with these people in this fandom. This is a chance to get to know them and to interact and to meet. Like they're going together to the event. So I think it's it's bigger than sometimes we play it out to be. Is that, is that fair? I mean, my advice would be uh, for your mental health, it's a lot worse, but I would say just close yourself off from people. It's a lot less exhausting. <laughs> close yourself Jesus. off. Jesus. Yeah. You don't need friends. Yeah. So the next thing we got into, and I'm happy we actually uh, called the guy because we were talking about it on our drive in this morning was uh, our friend, uh, what is it, Scott Spears? <laughs> Fantastic name for like maybe, the sound of his voice, by the way. Maybe the greatest radio personality <laughs> left in America. I actually thought, I thought Kirk was pretty, uh, pretty tough on Scott, actually. Do I think he did? I think as a journalist, I should not judge anybody oh, or tell Scott. anybody who I've. Jesus, Scott. Come on. Scott. Come on, Scott. Mm-hmm. Innocent until no, proven. Oh, he was proven. Go ahead. So, continue. so, 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 so I, I, okay. So I guess, do you have any moral objection to putting him on the air, knowing he did these awful things and never do you think that he did these acts? Yes. Okay. Do you think that you saying that right now in a public forum that he's ever going to come on your show and you're going to get these, ask these that's questions? True. That so, that so, that is so true. Ask. So as opposed to that, I can have him on my show and ask him about the Olympics. I don't want to ask Bill Cosby about the Olympics. I don't care. First of all, he was terrible on your show. Secondly, all I care about if I have Bill Cosby on is what he did and didn't do. That's it. That's all anybody cares about. I thought the moment we heard the fire. Seriously, I thought the moment we heard from him, he would be like this character and we'd be like simulcasting with the radio station. And but uh, so he had on Bill Cosby, which was just wild because I would think, you know, maybe not front page news, but in the digital world, like on Google and shit, I would think he would Google Bill Cosby yesterday and it would be everywhere. I think there was only like one article about it and it was from the town. People probably didn't know how like. No one found this. Thing. I know. I, I know. can't believe that's an FM radio station that has that horrible signal. <laughs> it's a, online. Well, <laughs> well it, I know. It's well. First of all, the online port. That's like their studio. That's sound. what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. It's a, they just don't have the equipment. I honestly think that it probably everything in here in this room that I'm in right now probably costs more than everything they're working with combined. Their tower included, probably. Uh, so they're just working on a shoestring budget there. But uh, this guy was just an absolute character. Of course, you know the reason why we played it is because he has Bill Cosby on, and he's talking about the Olympics. He's talking about the pandemic. Not one question about the allegations against Bill Cosby and everything to do it. Like he just never went there. So that's what was funny to you and I. And we ended up getting him on the phone call on the phone. And he was just, he was actually, he, he had an answer for everything Kirk threw at him. Well, it's uh, amazing that I'm so, I think everyone's so used to like when you or Steve call one of these people. Yep. And Kirk asks, they realize it's Kirk Minahan and they hang up. Yeah. I was like, when Kirk was like, call him back, I was like, why bother? There's no way they're going to answer now. And then he answered and his issue, he was like, oh, they must not, he was protecting Kirk. Yes. <laughs> he's like, he must not know Classiest that guy he's on the air. <laughs> That's our guy, move. Scott, protecting everyone. Yeah. Whether you're vi- violating SEC law or sexual assault law, yes. <laughs> Scott will protect you. He will protect you. So we had some fun with him on the phone lines today, asking him all sorts of questions. I don't know. We I think we keep the door open to Scott. I, Kirk brought up the best point, which is, Tim and Ken now has an absolute playground yeah, with Scott Spears to play that's off That's going to be tough for Scotty, I think. Which, actually, I was thinking of you last night. I, I can only pop in super quick, but I saw you uh, retweeted that Boston Globe oh, spaces. Not, I'm I sure. thought it'd be fun for, like, the Minifans. I thought the Minifans would enjoy popping yeah. in there and yep. harassing them with questions. Yep. I uh, requested to speak, and surprisingly, they never got to They me. never got to you. But also, uh, it was the most mind-numbingly boring <laughs> talk i've ever heard in my it's like hey race this and how can we inject race more into this yeah. conversation it's like from the most the most lifeless personalities yes no i know it's i was going to actually suggest that to some of the audience members that likes to make that like to make calls and then i realized i did it myself i tried to go on clubhouse and get on with one of their shows and there's like 500 people in the room you put your hand up and nobody ever fucking goes to you it's yeah. uh, it's unbelievable so uh but i think tim mccann's gonna have a field day because this guy uh basically what happened is he has a phone system where he picked up the phone and we were right on the air. I can't imagine being that ready for a caller. <laughs> well, he wasn't ready. It was just literally he saw his lights go off. No, but th- what I mean, what I mean is off. it rang twice. Like, if the phone rang here, yep. even if there was no sort of system where you could keep him on hold, you wouldn't be, a re- you wouldn't be ready for a caller the second 
he well, calls. He's, he's at the board, so I think it's like auto. He probably has the phone line already potted up. He sees a white, and he just pushes a button right. because he's not going to screen the calls himself while right. hosting the show. No, but I'm so. saying he ended his sentence and was just like, whatever this person wants to talk about, we're ready to talk about That's it. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe it right. I don't Yeah, I don't know. Either way, he is uh, He is going to be a fan favorite, I assume, after today's show because that was, that was a great segment. Uh, the other thing we talked about was, uh, what was, oh, what's the um, the color guy, the uh, announcer Jack there? Morris. Jack Morris. Yeah. That's right. The audio of him with Shohan Otani. One of the greats. <laughs> oh, what do you do with Shohei Otani? What's that voice? Be very, better careful. <laughs> hey! <laughs> you, gotta, you, 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 you gotta know. Don't you have to know? <laughs> I don't like it in a baseball. You be a, a very careful. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll see if that blows up. I, I know this morning it was in a lot of outlets, but I wonder if he has to do a little bit more than that apology. We'll see. Um, he'll probably be suspended. It used yep. to be like if no one uh, got a hold of it, you could just he'd be back on the air the next day. Yes. Now even if no one gets a hold of it, he'll get suspended for a week. And people will forget about it, and he'll probably... I don't think he'll get fired for this. No, we'll see what happens there. The only other things that really came up uh, today was... uh, We're obviously preparing for Sacco. Uh, I got to figure out this Quantum Week skit that became How do you think it's going to go without Justin? Uh, Without Justin... Say say Justin can't go to Sacco. Oh, the actual event? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, I guess I'm worried about it just because he's done such a good job organizing the whole thing that it's like you don't even have to do question. I'm not trying to kiss his ass either. And then it's on you. Then people say, oh, without Justin, Cullinan yeah. can't do his so job. So I basically have all the tech stuff. Like I'm taking over the tech side and then he figured out everything else, whether it's stage and food and stuff like that. So that's probably more of the stuff, like the experience of the fans if shit goes wrong with, you know, the food trucks or whatever else. So, uh, but I, th- I think we'll be, I'll be fine. That's not like putting him down in the thing. I think he just did such a good job planning it. I don't think there'll be right. problems to be honest. He's overly prepared. He's overly prepared. So, all right. That's from Justin Nicole. Thank you, Mike, for uh, hanging around here. I appreciate it. Anytime. All right.